Becoming a data scientist is the best decision that I've ever made. It's extremely profitable, highly rewarding, and according to careeraddict.com, it is the second most in-demand job of 2021. And the first most, actually, because AI specialist is pretty much the same thing. Now, of course, this does come with a price. Probably not going to happen overnight, and it can feel pretty overwhelming. Just a few years ago, I was confused on which path to take, and I didn't understand even the complete basics. So if data science feels like a fiery vortex or a dark, endless tunnel, believe me, you are not alone. Do not sweat it at all. But I can assure you that with the right techniques, it's going to feel a lot more like this instead. It'll still be hard work. There'd be really no point of doing it if it wasn't. But you can definitely remove the stress as well as optimize your study time quite a bit. So to make that happen, today I will share with you the data science journey that I took. We're going to travel back in time to three specific times in my life we can draw key takeaways from. December 2018, January 2020, and February 2021. I also have a surprise treat for you. Space throughout this video is four letters that form a code. And if you send that code to me on LinkedIn before the end of November, I will place you in a queue for a free resume and CV scanning. I will review your resume for free. Here's the first letter now, which is a D. Okay, let's work back in time to when I started learning data science, which was December 2018. I was about one year into my statistics degree at the University of Waterloo. I became fascinated with artificial intelligence, and I heard that these neural networks were the driving force. Curious and confident that one day I'd be working on these state-of-the-art problems. But that does not mean that I did everything right. Not even close. After I finished my schoolwork for the day, I would go to the library and find whatever books that I could about neural networks. This was 2018 and I was going to the library to get books. That in itself was a mistake. But I was trying to learn about neural networks. Although anyone can learn about what neural networks can do, there's no way with the knowledge that I had, I was going to be able to dissect them like I was trying to. Think about a computer or phone, for example. Most people know how to solve many problems with them. Just double click here. Didn't work. Well, I said most, not everybody. If you were trying to think about how it worked, maybe you'd rip open the phone or computer, look at all the individual pieces, think about how they would work together to make the whole device. You'll probably learn something, but imagine instead watching a video of how RAM, a CPU, and a hard drive worked, and then ripping open the computer, trying to piece it together the second time. Taking that metaphor for our situation, I should have learned about ideas like regression and underfitting before looking under the hood of a neural net. Something then very strange happened to me, where I felt so much pressure in my head to keep achieving, it really started to wear me down. Since 2018, I had taken the Android Machine Learning and Deep Learning course, and I got my first machine learning internship. And I'm not kidding, I probably got the internship largely because I took the Android Machine Learning course. The interviewer and I talked about that quite a bit. As you're probably aware, about a month or two later in April 2020, COVID-19 really hit here. Everything shut down, everything moved online. Since then, pretty much everything's been online as well. So at this job, I was working for an insurance company making machine learning models I can't really tell you about. But what I can tell you, it worked like an absolute beast, especially in the evenings afterwards. Work. So there's really no issue with my workflow, but actually getting work done is not the only factor here. I was just not happy. I didn't figure out how to fix that until about a year later. My friend told me to start a YouTube channel where I'd explain the data science topics that I'd learned. Reinforcement learning by Sutton Barto. I absolutely love it. You would watch that. But something very weird happened. I wanted to make another video and another one. Now I can read your mind here and you think this doesn't apply to you because you don't want to start a YouTube channel. Let me tell you that's not true. It doesn't matter. Sure, you maybe don't. The point is that I enjoy improving my portfolio. You just need to find that thing that you enjoy doing. Also, make sure to change it up. If you keep studying the exact same way, you might get bored of it and maybe try watching a video or try reading a book. Let me remind you that this is not going to happen overnight. It's going to take a while and so you need something to keep it fresh and to keep learning, to keep interested. Otherwise, you're just not going to make it. And here you go. The final letter of that code is an E. Also, if you haven't gotten a chance to watch the pathway I suggest for you to take, make sure you click this video.